So we've got our new uh, semifinals, and we've got our playoff matchups, and they're great matchups, great matchups. Can't wait for these games. Um, in a lot of ways, you know, th this playoff, as, as much as it's disappointing for Florida State, man, this playoff, at least on paper, has the mark of what could be the best playoff that we've had in basically the decade since the playoff came into existence. I, I mean, like, these are phenomenal games. Let's start with what I think is going to be the best game, which is Alabama and Michigan. I mean, these two teams, man, you talk about, one, you're, you're playing in the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, which my favorite game by far. And then it's, it's these programs with these coaches um, the storylines of what's going on, obviously the development of Alabama after the early loss, Michigan undefeated again. You, you want to call it like overcoming the adversity that you could argue they created on themselves with, with the Connor Stallion stuff. Um, it's it's going to be a remarkable matchup. And that's just all the stuff that is not on the field. And then you look on the field and you're like, man, these are great teams. I can't, I can't wait to see them. Now, each of these teams, by the way, are similar in, in some degree in that, like, they're not built on passing games. Now, I think that Michigan can throw the ball pretty effectively, and J.J. McCarthy has proven the fact that he is a really legitimate threat as a passer, but neither of these teams, like, lean on the passing game. Now, both of them have, have good to decent scoring offenses, top 20 in the country, scoring defenses. Bama, you know, not maybe what they've been in the past. And then here's the number one scoring defense in the country for the Michigan Wolverines. The total offense, kind of the same, right? A methodical offense for, for Michigan and maybe more of the same for Bama, built on running the football, in particular around their quarterback, Jalen Milrow. Defense has been good, and the turnover margin Michigan really excels. Michigan's a really sound team and will be certainly the best all-around team that Alabama has played, even maybe more so than Georgia. Because remember, Michigan has been a more consistent and dominant team during the course of the year than anybody else in college football. So this is going to come down to be a, a, a wonderful game. Where are some of the advantages? Well, number one, when I first saw this matchup, the thing that I was immediately drawn to is I want to see Michigan's defense handle Jalen Milrow, or, or can they handle him? Will they? Because they haven't seen anybody on their schedule like they're going to see from Jalen Milrow. His ability to run the football is going to be difficult on the Wolverines. And then conversely, I don't think Bama has seen anybody, maybe even Texas, that's going to line up on both the offensive and defensive line and just be formidable at the line of scrimmage. And we we saw them struggle with that from, from Texas. I think Michigan's even better than Georgia at the line of scrimmage this season. Uh, and defensively, they can do a lot of different things, both stopping the run and getting to the quarterback. So those are the two areas that I immediately was drawn to in this game. That's going to be a phenomenal game. I can't wait to see that one. And then, by the way, the nightcap, here we go to the second playoff game. This one's going to be outstanding. And you talk about offensive skill on display, game plans, offensive play calling. This one is going to be... Well, it has the ability to be a shootout, to be honest with you. And I think all of us would would be in favor of that. Now, you know, you, you look at some of the numbers, but to me, this game is not about the numbers and where their defense and offense actually rank. It's more about the matchup. So Texas's pass defense is going to be threatened. They're, I believe, 95th, 96, something right there, mid-90s, and they're going to be facing what I think is the best passing attack in the country. Michael Penix is outstanding. More on that uh, next segment uh, when we talk about the Heisman Trophy. Their wide receivers are outstanding, and that's one of the areas where Texas has been, let's just say, vulnerable, which is the pass defense. Now, they can rush the passer, and they do a, a great job up front with guys like Tavondre Sweat. There's no doubt. And I'm, I'm interested to see how Washington will handle that because they generally protect Michael Penix really well. And Texas is a team that can get after the quarterback. That's a great matchup. Then you go on the flip side. Okay, now Texas has the ball. Texas puts speed on the field. I mean, like, these guys can run. Jonathan Brooks goes down. They've got a deep core of running backs that go out there. Jadon Blue can take it to the house. Uh, C.J. Baxter, he's been fantastic, the freshman running back. They've got talent. Xavier Worthy, he's reached... In terms of GPS, he's the fastest player in college football on the field this year, and that's what that defense from Washington is going to have to deal with. 
The one area that I feel like is, is most interesting in this game is will Washington be able to run the football like they were able to against Oregon? I, I don't know if they can because this Texas defense is so stout up front. This is, again, going to be an, an amazing matchup. It's going to come down to Michael Penix, his ability to throw the football, his ability to score points against that secondary of Texas, which is their vulnerability. And then for Texas, it's the speed on the field. You know, can they create a game plan that gets that speed into positions where they can then go out there and create explosive plays? It's going to be a great matchup, folks. Again, this playoff, this playoff is, at least on paper, I consider it the best playoff that we maybe have ever had in the playoff era, and I hope that these games live up to it because they certainly, uh, they certainly could. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.